Hey gents, today I'm taking a look at my October Hunt Club crate, which is the biggest and most stuffed one that I've ever received. If you love to learn about new menswear and the best out there, please subscribe below and give a thumbs up for the smell of bonfires in the fall months. I'm not going to go into detail here about how Frank and Oak and the Hunt Club works. I've done that in my previous videos. You can check those out. But if you are going to sign up, please use my referral code down in the description because it'll give both of us a discount and I'd really appreciate the support. So, this is the biggest... I've received these big boxes before, but this is the most stuffed that it's been. You can see it's just it's just packed. Uh, I realized that you can order six items, so even though I've told you that before, uh, I've only ever ordered maybe five or four, and so I just kept adding items this month, and there was a good collection, so I'm excited to see what is in store. We have the plaid flannel shirt in red, the Donegal crew sweater in night heather, the Donegal cardigan in light beige, double-breasted peacoat in charcoal, the down-filled fishtail parka in forest night, and the Bernard wool blazer in dark burgundy. So this Donegal sweater is actually the second Donegal wool sweater that I've received from Frank and Oak. Uh, I got one about a year and a half ago, maybe two falls ago, and I wanted to get this because that's my favorite sweater and I wanted to let you know how this holds up. This is probably one of the best sweaters that Frank and Oak makes, so if you have a chance to get that, do it. Here we have a chunky knit cardigan. I'm always a fan of nice cardigans. What we have here, we have our plaid. Flannel, right there. Now, this wool blazer I am very excited about. Check out this deep burgundy. Not only the lining, but just the whole thing looks good. So, I always like these. And this fishtail parka, I actually ordered it before I saw how heavily they were promoting it on Instagram and Twitter. So it's got this lining. Oh yeah. So we'll check that out. And this double breasted pea coat. Now I also ordered this because I have a pea coat from two years ago that is a navy double breasted pea coat and this looks like a solid update to that pea coat. So got a lot of items and I'm excited to check them out. Let's give them a try. This flannel is one of Frank and Oak's small, tall shirts, which is my perfect size. And this is now one of my best fitting shirts and it feels fantastic. This is a nice, thick, high quality flannel and it's a very good pattern. So this is a solid shirt. This Donegal Cardigan is a nice sweater at 75 bucks. It's not gonna break the bank. Uh, I'm curious what you think about it because I don't really have an opinion. I have a gray cardigan, but this one's a little bit thicker. It's 50% wool and 50% acrylic, so it's not the most pure sweater, but it does look really good. Here we have sibling sweaters. This is the Donegal wool sweater that I've been wearing for two years, and it is definitely one of my favorite sweaters that I own. I have a stack of them actually right over in the corner here, and this is one of my go-tos. So I ordered its newest counterpart. I think actually this color was available two years ago, but I just went for this one instead. And so I can attest to the Donegal wool sweater that is out in this collection now. I actually think this color might be out. That this is a high quality lasting sweater that uh, you would be, you'd be happy to have in your wardrobe. I am a sucker for elbow patches. I think they were in style for a little bit. Now they might be fading out. As you can see on this blue, it's not as pronounced of an elbow patch. On the sweater that I have, they're very pronounced because of the contrast. And on the cardigan, they're a similar contrast as well. So that being said, because I know that this sweater is 50% wool, 50% acrylic, and it has lasted so well, it's very warm, I will say that the, the cardigan that I just tried on would probably also stand up as well, even though it's not totally pure. This is a gorgeous blazer. This color, this kind of deep burgundy, it's beautiful. I changed my shirt because this is a blazer that you could dress up or dress down. If you were just going out casually and you wanted to wear a plaid shirt underneath it, it would look good. 
but if you were to dress it up and wear it to some sort of formal dinner, not a black tie affair, but if you were just needed to be a little bit more formal, if you throw on a white dress shirt or you know a nice blue, even if you'd pull off a blue in this, in this, but uh, this is just a beautiful blazer. It's 50% wool, 50% polyester, feels really good. Another solid blazer from Frank and Oak. So this down-filled fishtail parka in Forest Night is not cheap at 245, but it's not too steep because this is one of the warmest jackets I've ever put on. I have a North Face down jacket that's not quite as thick as this. It's 80% down on the inside, which is one of the warmest materials you can throw into a jacket. And this lining right here and the and the hood, it's just this is this is a nice nice jacket. So uh, you've seen it on social media. You've now seen in this video, if you need a winter jacket, need to replace an old one or get a new one, this is about the best you can do. If I had to choose one winter jacket between the down-filled parka and the peacoat, it'd be a very hard toss-up. Peacoats and the down jacket serve a different purpose. Peacoats are uh, more classy and they're more professional than some of these down, like a parka. It's not as warm as this down parka. Now, I have a peacoat from two years ago from Frank and Oak that I wear almost daily in the winter, but it's not as warm as this peacoat, and this is a fantastic update. I mean, if you look at this, if you look at this quilted lining on the inside, it's very warm. Uh, it, it feels very sturdy, and I'd like to see how this holds up over a winter's wear. Uh, it has a nice tall collar, unlike the other one that I have, and so, uh, Trying to choose between these two would be tough, but it would depend on the, the setting that you're going into. If you're going into an office setting or if you uh, work in some sort of customer facing role where you'd want to look more professional, go with a peacoat. If you want to stay warm in all environments, go with that down parka. That's a look at my October crate from Frank and Oak. Six fantastic pieces at, a, at one of the best collections that I've seen from them yet. Comment below if you got pieces that you really liked, and if I didn't cover something about Frank and Oak or the products in my video, please comment below and I'll do my best to answer. Subscribe so that you can learn about the best in menswear, and if you have any suggestions on products or companies that I should take a look at, comment or reach out to me on at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. Since we're talking about fabrics, materials, and if something's pure or not, let's talk about UGG Australia. For years and years and years, people have been buying UGG shoes because they are sheep's wool. Now, what people don't really know is that about a year ago, they switched to something called UGG Pure, which is actually 50% wool and 50% synthetic because materials cost had gone up so high and they have investors to answer to. I'm not saying that you shouldn't switch to 50% wool, 50% synthetic, because you know you can offer that to your customers, but don't trick us by calling it pure, and don't pretend that it's a better product when it's not. Now the wool might last a little bit better because it is 50% synthetic, but there's still customers out there like me who want to buy something that's 100% pure wool, but I'm not going to be tricked by your UGG Pure fake synthetic wool. So now you know, the more you know, and uh, hopefully you're never in a position where you are tricking people into taking more of their money.